Everybody, it's your girl Yodi, and this is what we are painting today. So grab all your materials and let's get to it. Hey everybody! So it's your girl Yodi. So in celebration of my business's year anniversary, I'm doing a paint session with you all. So what you will need for today's session, you will need some paint. You could use acrylic, gouache, watercolor, whatever medium, color pencil, whatever you want. If you just want to come and sit down and grab your whatever you have, just grab it, come sit down, light your sage, woosah, 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 and come on down. We're going to do this. So yeah, so just have your, uh, your medium, a canvas or a sheet of paper. If you're painting, get yourself a jug or a cup of water. Don't mind mine. It's been used a lot. Um, you want your brushes, of course, some different uh, shapes and sizes. And then, of course, we need something to dry our brushes with. So, we are going to create just kind of like a fun little piece um, just to get started for the summer. Who doesn't need some peace in their life? So we're gonna, you don't have to follow along with the colors that I'm using. Oh, and you're gonna use a palette or a plate or something, um, preferably not a foam or styrofoam plate because of how porous it is. The acrylic or whatever medium you're using is gonna go inside the pores or the holes in the styrofoam and suck up all your medium. And that's just a waste of product, okay? So use a plastic or paper plate, uh, whatever, just not styrofoam. So I'm gonna go ahead for my background for this piece, I'm gonna go ahead with my black acrylic and I'm just going to pour just enough little dot right here um yeah just enough i don't want to waste you don't need that much acrylic uh especially if you use the method that i prefer to use which is dipping your brush in a little bit of water and helping it kind of move along as you go so with doing the background you want a flathead brush something wide to help you spread through uh i will be using however my personal favorite which is like this um like, I can't remember the name of the brush exactly. I don't know. It's a number six brush. If you have fine, fine, master, <laughs> the fine touch, master touch uh, brand. But this is what the brush looks like. It's a little, uh, it's not pointy at the top, but it comes to a little point. So I'm gonna dip my brush in my water just so that the bristle, bristles get wet. Uh, my brush is now moist. You can tell the difference in how the bristles looked. It looks more pointed. I'm gonna take a little bit of my paper towel and just dab off the excess water. I'm going to dip my brush into the black like so, really play with it, adding a little bit of the excess water into it. And it kind of runs a lot smoother instead of it becoming thick. Um, and the thing that you wanna remember with acrylic, um, the longer that you have your acrylic out, the uh, it'll dry hard and it'll get tacky. Uh, you can um, troubleshoot this by adding again that water that water to your brush. And you can see, let me show you a, one that's not dirty. Um, but you can see with this how smooth it is in comparison to me just dipping it. You can see the difference in the. Oh, sorry. You can see the difference in the stroke. So this one is just the acrylic. This one is with the acrylic mixed with water. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of work through it. Once it gets thick, you just dip your brush in water again, and you just go. So paint your background whatever color you would like. I kind of vary. Um, I know some there's people who are like sticklers for brush strokes. Like you got to make sure it's all in one. I will literally just do this, and I'm like, you know, brush strokes add texture and layer. So that's what we doing. You know, get it out however you can. That's another reason why I really enjoy painting because to me there's no rules to it. Even though they there are rules, um, and I remember being submitting my work into like a, one of the grade school art fairs and the lady, one of the judges told me, she's like, you just don't care about rules or form, do you? And I was like, no. <laughs> and 
<laughs> if that translates in my regular life, I don't care about the rules or form. I'm going to do it how I feel like doing it. How it comes out is how you get in it. <laughs> um, but with me, there's no rule or form with art. I just, I let the color, I let the texture, I let the brush strokes, I let everything, like, you know, void of color, speak for something. It has purpose when I paint. Um, so, yeah. You put this paint on this canvas or your paper, however way you feel it needs to be. And another reason why I like to chat, you can by all means fast forward through this. I just want us to paint together. So if you're lonely, you get to hear me talk. <laughs> um, I forgot what I was gonna say. give the canvas about maybe like 10 minutes until you see that it's not like streaky with wet and if you see that in your painting it's like a little streaky, add another layer, it's not a big deal. Okay, make sure you're getting all the white spaces if that's what you choose. Y'all might think I'm tripping, but I'm actually looking at things in the camera and on the background, sorry. So like I said, with everything else, you can, when moving into the actual peace sign, you can use whatever symbol you see fit. A lotus flower, a heart, a star, uh, whatever basically i'm just telling you how we get there if you want to do the peace sign do the peace sign but that we are going to save for the very last okay so while we're waiting for our background to dry what we're going to do is a splatter technique so with this portion you want to make sure that you have um like newspaper or something to lay down. So when you splatter the paint, it doesn't go onto your beautiful tapestry, your walls, wherever you have it. So just pick out a couple of colors um, that you want for your background portion. I am going to do the chakra colors. This is a brand new set. I'm opening it. Hobby Lobby had it on sale, $7, 50% off. You do the math. Stop. Okay, so I'm gonna be using dark blue, a light blue, a red, a yellow. I'm gonna make a purple and a green and just an orange, but we can make our orange. So um, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna have the camera faced a little different so I can show you the splattering technique. And then we're gonna let our paint dry. And then we're gonna go into our symbol and we'll be done. Okay, so I, sorry for the wobbly movement. I'm holding it in my hand, the camera. So I'm going to show you how to kind of get your uh, acrylic to be fluid enough so you can do your splatter paint. I have just a little uh, brush. This is clean water, surprisingly. It's just dried acrylic at the bottom. So I'm gonna have water on my brush and I'm just going to add a few drops. You see that drop going down, boop, boop, boop. You're gonna add, we can do three. And I'm gonna do the same thing for my green. We've got three drops of water. And I'm just gonna basically do this with every 
color. Okay, so I am now just going to take the back of one of my old paint brushes, like this one that's all crusty and gross because I fell asleep and did not remove the acrylic from the brush. So I'm just gonna use the back of this and I'm just going to make sure that the acrylic, do you see how watery it is in comparison to that lump of regular acrylic? We're just gonna make sure it's watery because it's that liquidiness that's going to make it easier for the paint to splatter. If you need to add more water, just do so. You don't want it watery, like water water. You see that there's still thick it's still thick in there, it's still consistent. You know, you can do something. So that's how you make your, your color. Um, you're gonna do it with all the colors and I'm gonna come back and show you how to splatter. Okay, now that we have our canvas that is dry and our paint that is ready, we're basically gonna go in with a wet brush of any kind. And I'm gonna start with red. You're gonna take your finger and I like to just tap. And you see that we have red little dots. So you're just gonna tap and add color and paint wherever you want. Don't forget to clean your brush as you're doing it because you don't want it to turn into this weird brown color when you mix all the colors together. And I will finish splattering, you will finish splattering, and we'll come back together for the last piece. Okay, so now I have all my color on there. I'm actually gonna go in um, and do the same thing with some white paint just for some contrast and I will be back to show you what it looks like and then we'll move into the final portion. I literally feel like I can breathe now. So we're going to let our paint dry. If you notice it's kind of bubbled up in certain areas. We need to make sure the acrylic is all the way dry before we overlay all of the splatter with um, another color because you're going to mix it in. Unless that's the look you're going for then dive straight into it. Okay, so now we're moving into the final portion of our painting, which is adding the main focus of painting, the symbol. So what we're going to use, you can reuse the white uh, paint that you use for the splatter portion, but you want it super diluted, not as diluted as the dots though. That's the trick. So the thing with the peace sign, I want certain aspects to be firm so we're going to go in with the re regular acrylic portion you can't see anything and it's going to be hard for you to see move it this way yeah it's going to be hard for you to see you're just gonna have to take my word for it um so how you can achieve this you can pour or squeeze the white paint out of the tube and then go ahead and paint the outline that way you have a solid white line then once that paint kind of dries, you'll go in and dilute it like you did with the other paint and then go around the base of the piece sign so that the white uh, will drip. And you don't want to do it on a flat surface because you want the dripping um, effect. So you definitely want it um, up on a canvas or a easel or something, a book. Do something that you don't mind getting dirty because we are dripping paint. So let's get to it. I mean, I had to rig this. I just want you to know. I had to rig this for y'all. I love y'all. So I like to just go in. As you can see, my peace sign is all cattywonkus and don't make no sense. And that is okay. Stay out of your way. You can fix it. I can teach you how to troubleshoot any issue that you create on this canvas. It's okay. Don't trip about it. So what I'm gonna do is just go in and really start to solidify that outline of my peace sign. And again, if you notice where I get right here on the bottom, where the paint is starting to get thick, just dip your brush in that water and it'll help um, loosen up the thickness. I have a fan right next to me, so no wonder why my paint is getting a little tacky. Just add some water and you'll be fine. Now, if you, let me see, let me make a uh-oh real quick so that I can help you 
guys. Troubleshoot. So, let's see. Uh, whoop, there you go. I have a white line. Oh no, what are we gonna do about this? The painting's ruined. It's not. So this is how um, you can remove errors. You take a wet brush. You have to move fast, so because acrylic dries fast. Um, you take a wet brush and all you're gonna do is just start moving that acrylic. Do you see that it's a wet blob? Drip, uh, dry some of that excess paint, get more water, and do the same exact thing. And as you can see, it's getting lighter and lighter. And what we could do is take our uh, paper towel and go ahead and blot. Don't rub, just a gentle tapping motion because you don't want to rub up the paint that's already dry. So that's how a quick way to troubleshoot if you do mess up. It's not a big deal, it's just a painting. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna move this around until I get comfortable with the shape of my peace sign because right now it looks wonky. something like like this brush you want something like this so that way um, because when you do something with a wide brush when you hit that curve it's going to kind of the bristles are going to spread out and you're going to have paint dragged kind of like this but worse As you see, as you continue to work with it, don't get frustrated, just really work with that piece and it'll start coming together. So um, I don't know if you can tell from where it is right there, there are certain parts like right down here where it's not as opaque. You could just keep going over it, but the trick with acrylic, you wanna make sure it does dry once you have it on the canvas and you have it how you want, because if you keep applying paint while it's still wet, you're doing nothing but moving the paint around and eventually you'll get frustrated. So keep uh, keep working with it, but also give it time to breathe, as I like to call, or like to say. And I am going to show y'all a little trick that I like to do. I'm a sloppy painter. Um, so I know like if you if you follow my art, you know I have a lot of like outlines. My paintings always have outlines because I'm just so sloppy with my art. I'm just like la 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 and I don't care. That's how I do it. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to clean up your lines. I'm gonna do this with a gold trim around it to really make it pop. like super particular about like your shapes and stuff you can trace it with something circular like a glass bowl or something like that if you do a glass bowl obviously use a pencil to trace it on there unless you want your bowl to get dirty with it really When you're doing 
doing straight lines, you want to switch back to a flat brush. Let me get a better one. Something like this, flat and thin, because it's going to give you a clean straight line. If you're noticing on, well, dag, if you notice here, and it, it, you really have to pay attention, it kind of starts off thin and expands bigger. And that's just because of how the brush is designed. So you want to switch to a flathead brush. Am I going to do it? No. This is my painting and I do it how I please. <laughs> let this one dry but before I do that I'm going to use my excess paint that I have I'm going to go ahead and dilute that and I'm going to now go ahead and begin the pieced uh pieced the piece sign drip that I absolutely love about this painting so I'm going to get my paint all diluted I mean it looks like this you can see, maybe this will help you, maybe if I do it like this. It's difficult for you to see it, but it's real um, watery. So what I'm gonna do is just basically add just a touch more, because it needs to be able to move on its own. And I'm just gonna add a drip. If you pay attention, you can see the drip moving. You can see that it's dripping. I'm just going to add it at the edge of my peace sign so you can see up close what's happening with the drip moving I'm going to add another one. Oh crap this is why you have something to protect like a tablecloth but you're just going to start dripping things just add a little dot there and let gravity do the rest and what we're going to do so it doesn't kind of look weird on the bottom we're going to do one more layer of white um, around the whole piece sign so we can make it more opaque and that way the dripping portion doesn't look like you just dripped it you know so really play around with it let this you know be fun this is the messy creative part if it's not moving like you want add more water very simple right consistency you see like I'm not even adding a lot of effort gravity's doing the work it looks beautiful and I really want it to be long like a long drip so if you want certain drips to be longer really concentrate that water acrylic mixture down that one drip and because it already kind of went that way that pathway it'll go by faster and it'll drop down quicker Like real fast okay. so I'm gonna let it breathe I'm gonna let it dry and we'll come back. We're going to do one more layer of white and then do a trim of um, gold. So we're moving into the ending of our painting. Not much, right? This is why detail work is so important. Going in and really making a painting your own with those details, you can bring a painting, any painting to life. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start my um, doing the background I might fast forward this part because we're already at 23 minutes already and I don't want to you know keep you here too long I'm not going to fast forward it again because I really want us to paint together that's the whole purpose of this let's go paint um, so yeah so I'm going to go around with my flat brush with a gold we're going to have to do more than one application of this because gold does not come on as opaque um, it may if you're doing it with a white background but we're going right above the white on the black which means we're going to need another one all 
I'm already in love with it already. <laughs> And really don't trip about this part either. You can clean it up. With this, you kind of want to, you're going to um, change. If you pay attention to the brush stroke, if you're paying attention to the brush stroke, we have a wider brush and then you can see we moved down to narrow. So I started doing it with this side flat and then I moved to the side where it's thin so I can get into these more fine areas. You can also opt in for brushes that are meant for, um, you know, detailed work, something like this, uh, something like this, but I prefer to just keep one brush and doing it this way. Now, I'm going to leave it up to you. It is getting difficult once we get to the actual drips. Um, so if you want to do it, do it. If not, don't do it. But I'm not going to go around mine all the way because some of them are still wet. I'm just doing it for the sake of time, starting some of the work. Now I'm gonna go ahead and switch to this brush. show you what happens when you don't let your paint dry all the way so if you can see right uh, right there 
it's gold mixed with white because that part is not dry all the way. So how am I gonna fix that? I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm just gonna go over it with gold and call it a day. This is why you don't panic. You can just fix it. If you can't fix it, cover it with paint. different backgrounds so you can see everything's thick except for this part I'm gonna go in and make it thicker um, I don't think I'm going to pull the gold inside of this I kind of like it as a window so I'm gonna leave it open another thing you don't want to trip about is getting paint on the actual piece sign itself um, you could do some real cool stuff with that um, you can make it look like the, it, the peace sign itself is dripped in gold. You can do so many things. So don't panic. Um, just change your perception when you paint. It doesn't have to, you know, look exactly how you imagine it in your mind's eye. release you use this time to add the details I'm going to come in and show you what it looks like at the very end when I'm done with all my detail work it was a pleasure and a blessing to paint with you all today I hope you enjoyed it I hope you utilize this time and just paint take this time to love yourself and paint don't forget your smock um yes so I hope you enjoyed it I would love to do more um painting lessons so please keep a lookout um, if those of you who do not know, I am now certified in therapeutic art, so I believe in really using art as a way and means of talking um, or expressing yourself in ways that you can't with words. You know, or you, if you have difficulties expressing yourself with words, maybe you don't feel like journaling. Maybe that's not your jam. Paint, draw it out, sketch it out, doodle it out, sculpt it out, do whatever you need to do, just get it out. Um, so stay blessed. Thank you for joining me. Please do not forget to um, join me tomorrow at 8 p.m. for our paint, our uh, party. 
uh, our celebratory party, I will be raffling away a little gift basket with all my products and maybe some of my art. Um, I enjoy you all. Bye. Welcome back everyone. So for the final product, this is what I created. Um, this is a super fun painting, really cute to add to like a kid's room, uh, like a craft room, whatever, you can put anything in there. Um, you know, just the goal of today was to sit down and use your creative energy and look at it. By golly, you did it. So thank you all for joining me and painting with me and creating with me. I appreciate you all. Um, make sure you tune in tomorrow. I'm doing a giveaway with my products. Uh, I'm doing product launches. It's going to be a great time. So thank you. Thank you. Happy Friday. Have a great day. Bye-bye.